Vin. Uh, thank you, honorable uh, members. Madam Speaker, I want to, I wish to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the honorable members who substantively contributed towards this motion. Madam Speaker, the members who supported or who touched on this motion, sub, sub, uh, supported this motion both in substance, they supported the letter and the spirit of this motion. I sincerely, from the deepest part of my heart, thank the members for supporting this motion. Madam Speaker, this speaks to the issue of cancer in this country because the overwhelming support, that is 100% support that this motion uh, got in this house, means that indeed cancer is a menace, and as I said, cancer is an equivalent of a death sentence in this country. Madam Speaker, I gave the statistics, the harrowing statistics of cancer in this country. Madam Speaker, I said that the current statistics point to that almost 100,000 people in this country are diagnosed annually with cancer. And out of that 100,000, the mortality rate, Madam Speaker, is 90,000. And I said, per month in this country, we are losing 7,500 people out of cancer. Per day, we are losing 250 people. Per hour, we are losing 10 people in this country out of cancer. So, Madam Speaker, cancer is a national disaster that we must be able to combat in this country. But as Speaker, of special men mention uh, when contributing is Honorable Deputy Speaker Gladys Boss and uh, Muchomba. And but as Speaker, they talked about uh, the pest, that is uh, the pest products control board in this country, that the World Health Organization has banned 267 pesticides. But but as Speaker, those pesticides are, are still operating in this country. They are being sold in this country. And the control board has done, has not done anything to ban those pesticides. And what I speak of interest to mention is that there was a recent cancer screening was in Kishu County. And it is reported that majority of those who have been, who are diagnosed with cancer are farmers because they are the direct consumers of these, uh, of, of, of farm products, which is a consequence of these banned pesticide products. So I speak also call upon the Committee on Agriculture to, uh, to look clear, uh, closely and to, to be able to analyze the, the, control, the, pest, the pest products control board so that they can be able to ban the products that have been banned by European countries and the World Health Organization because that is the biggest challenge. But as speaker, those products are still on our shelves and this house must do something so that those products are uh, expand from our shelves. But as speaker, what is the way forward? Madam Speaker, as we speak, I have already uh, drafted a legislative proposal so that we anchor this fund in the National Cancer Control and Prevention Act. Madam Speaker, we have a very substantive legislation on cancer in this country, but the problem is we, have, we do not have proper enough funds so that the National Cancer Institute can be funded. So Madam Speaker, this house must be deliberate, must be intentional, in creating this fund, but as Speaker, we shall amend, I shall propose an amendment to the existing legislation so that we anchor that particular fund in an act of parliament so that that fund can be able to, to, to realize its objectives. But as Speaker, this institute must also be resourced so that they conduct research. Our National Cancer Institute was modeled alongside or, or uh, was modeled. Your time is up. Honorable Toroy Teach, and uh, Standing Order 53 will defer the putting of the question on this motion. Before we go to the next motion, allow me to recognize again from the Speaker's Gallery, Janeiro Junior Academy from Rangwe Constituency, Homer Bay County. Yes, welcome them. ACK St. Luke Academy from Thika Town, Kiambu County, seated at the Speaker's Gallery. We have Chebunyo. Christian Academy from Chepalungu, Bomet County. And we also have a visiting delegation from St. Petersburg University in Russia who are seated in the speaker's gallery. Allow me on my own behalf and that of the House to welcome them to the uh, National Assembly. And I'll indulge Honorable Omar Mwini to welcome the visiting delegation from Russia but also the visiting students.